Hey guys. So I wanted to show you a little bit more detail about how um, a projectile moves. So you can see the screen here, and this should look somewhat familiar. You've got this FET lab that we've been working with for the last few days. And I decided that I would use it to show you guys how a projectile moves when you launch it in different ways. So the first way that I have it set up, it's going to launch the cannonball straight up into the air and then it's going to come back down. Now, I've turned on the little velocity vectors option here. And so what that's going to do is it's going to show some green arrows that um, tell me how fast the object, the cannonball, is moving in the vertical direction, which is up and down, and the horizontal direction. So um, let's take a look at what happens when we launch the cannonball straight up into the air. We're going to look at that green arrow. So the green arrow points straight up and then it points straight down. Okay, it's never pointing to the right or to the left. There's no component of this velocity that is ever to the right or the left. So there is no horizontal velocity at all when we're launching the cannonball straight up in the air. Okay, so now let's see what happens when we launch it straight to the side. So again, these velocity vectors are on here. So we're gonna see the arrows telling us whether there's any velocity horizontally, which is side to side, or up and down, um, which is vertical. So let's see what happens when we launch this horizontally. So if you noticed there, and I'll launch it one more time, um, there were vectors pointing straight to the side and also straight down. When it first starts, there's only one arrow and it's pointing straight to the right. After it starts to accelerate due to gravity, you get an additional component of the velocity that points down. So let's watch that one more time. And you can see that downward arrow growing as it accelerates downward. Okay, so now let's watch what happens when I launch this at some angle. So do you think that there's gonna be any initial vertical velocity? There wasn't when we launched it straight to the side. What do you think? Let's see. Well, so what I saw, and we'll watch it again in just a minute, was that when it first started out, there was a component of the velocity that was pointing upwards, and there was another component pointing to the side. So there were two components when you first started out, unlike when we launched it straight to the side. Let's watch it one more time. So what I saw was that the component of the velocity that started out pointing upwards got smaller and smaller until the projectile reached its maximum height. Then there was no vertical component anymore at all. And then as it started to fall back downward, just like what we saw from the horizontal projectile, the vertical velocity got bigger and bigger pointing downwards. So let's watch it one more time. There it disappears and then it grows. Okay, so um, I just wanted to show you what that looks like for these three different scenarios. We're gonna start analyzing the motion of a projectile that's launched at an angle over the next few days. So hopefully this helps gives you a, give you a visual to start with.